Hello and welcome to my video about Sellafield. In the year 2001 we went to Sellafield, the huge nuclear complex in England. Sorry for the bad pictures, but this was digital photography at this time. In the Sellafield visitor center kids and adults can do some nice physics experiments. And of course they can learn that nuclear power is 100% safe. But if you walk around the complex, you can find a memorial stone, which reminds on the catastrophic wind scale reactor fire in 1957, which caused huge, con huge contamination to Britain. But Sellafield is more known because of its reprocessing plant, called Thorpe. Used fuel rods, which are the most dangerous thing ever made by man, are cut it into pieces and solute it in nitric acid. The idea is to extract usable uranium and plutonium. But this process also generates a high volume of nuclear waste. Not all the waste can be hauled back and buried at a hopefully pla safe place. Without being ashamed, this liquid nuclear waste is just dumped into the Irish Sea through this pipeline. Under the bridge where the pipe crosses the river, I was able to find higher levels of radioactivity even with my simple homemade Geiger counter. But I also took a sample of sand on the public available beach not far from the pipeline. I kept this sample until now. Some months ago we analyzed it at a friend of mine. Yeah, I just want you to show the measurement equipment we used. Here you can see the measurement chamber. That's the scintillation detector. And underneath there is the sample. Uh, the latch shielding is made of some lead acid batteries. Here you can see the high voltage generator and the sound card. And here the samples are transferred to the PC. Okay, and here you can see the result. The blue line is the reference, which is uh, measuring without any sample. The green line is with the Sellafield sample. And always if the green line has got a spike that is not contained in the blue one, that's always, uh, well, interesting. But you can see that there are the two characteristic cesium-137 peaks here and here and one very huge emer uh, peak of americium-241 and additional some small peaks uh, from lead-214. These days I sent one part of the sample to Bionur 23 she offered to analyze it with a high purity germanium detector. I wonder what she can see. Okay, so bye.